Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or big welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kim and in today's video, I have yet another ultimate clean with me for you guys. I have tons to do in my disastrous house. So go ahead and grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, sit down and soak up all the motivation or put me up and clean along with me. Let's go ahead and get started. I hope y'all are ready for some serious cleaning motivation today because my house was destroyed absolutely destroyed and specifically the main living area of the house the rest of the rooms were okay they weren't so bad but the main living area the front entryway the dining room the kitchen the living room all of those places were a absolute disaster so we're going to be going in picking up everything putting everything back into its home and then wiping everything down we'll be vacuuming up we're going to get this place in tip-top shape again and so let me know down below what is on the top of your to-do list today this is my little front entryway area. My husband comes in with his work boots and it was just so gross. <laughs> so we needed to get that cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and start very front of the house. Whenever I like, whenever I have a huge mess like this, I like to go ahead and just start very front and then just kind of work my way through the house. I feel like I can see more of my progress that way and it's just a way that I like to do things. So we're gonna work here. We've got some dirty clothes spilling out of the laundry room. I already have my washer and my dryer going. So we just need to go ahead and get these clothes put back into the, into the laundry room. If this is your first time here, again, huge welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you get tons of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement from this video. I try to keep everything real and raw with you guys over here. I am a stay-at-home mama of two little girls. I homeschool my 11-year-old, and I have a almost two-year-old, and we are expecting our first baby boy in October, which is so crazy to me. I still can't believe it, but if this is your jam of cleaning motivation and just getting your house in order, doing what you can get done, I am here for you every single week. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and the bell. That way you won't miss out on any of my videos. Believe it or not, this is just morning and lunch mess. I like to, at nighttime, before I go to sleep, make sure that my kitchen is completely cleaned up, even if I don't do anything else into the, in the house. Um, just make sure all the food is put away and there's no crumbs, the floor is swept up, that type of thing. Even if it's just like the bare minimum of cleaning, the counters are wiped down. So this is just the aftermath of the morning time. Uh, my two-year-old was napping at this time, and so that's when I really like to get up and get things done. Ever since I became pregnant, she's been super, super clingy with me, and so it's been really hard for me to get things done around the house. Normally, I would do a little bit of tidy up here and there, but here, just in this phase of life, um, the only time that I can get things done is when she's napping. So I take that and I run with it but all of this mess is definitely just from breakfast and lunch um, we didn't have that many dishes to put away in the dishwasher but we're going to go ahead and get those dishes put away and then we will be working on the sink full of dirty dishes that we have to get done
Let me tell you guys, I love my crock pot. It is a lifesaver. I make at least one crock pot meal a week in my home. If you are a crock pot lover, definitely let me know down below. I really, really want to get an air fryer next. I've heard amazing things about them. Let me know if they're worth it, if you have one. But the only thing is that it is so awkward to clean in my sink. <laughs> when I can, I like to throw it in the dishwasher, but to be honest, there's not a lot of room in there at the end of the night. It might need to soak those good things. We actually had chili in this one the night before and it did need to soak, um, but it can just be so, so awkward to clean in the sink sometimes. Safe and sound Now that we've got all the dishes done, we're gonna go ahead and work on these countertops. I am still using my Love Make All Purpose Cleaner. I do have a full video on um, that where I tell you exactly what I think of it. It is a clean with me and I just give you my full thoughts and my review on this cleaner. Um, spoiler alert, I will not be purchasing it again, but it was not cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up what I do have. And I have a little bit left of this and so, I'm gonna be trying this out. Um, I actually have a friend of mine that's gonna be sending me some Thieves cleaner and I have been wanting to try this, um, but I just could not get past the price point. But from what she told me is that it's a concentrated bottle and so it comes down to almost a dollar a bottle. So if that is a fact, I might definitely be using that because something about me is I don't like to use a lot of chemicals in my home. I try my hardest to just be as chemical free in here, especially with little fingers and hands and, um, you know, I have pets and that sort of thing. I'm pregnant. And so I am trying to just kind of stay away from the more harsh cleaners and do more natural. And so, um, that video will be coming out very soon on the thieves cleaner. I'm just waiting for it to get here and I am super, super excited to try that out. But before I was using this, I was just using my method cleaner and I really like that stuff too. And I feel like it's not that expensive. It's a pretty good deal. Let me know down below. What is your favorite all purpose cleaner? Stuck in more conversations with you, with you. I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah, I'm on my way now.
we are finally all done with the kitchen. We're going to go ahead and move on to the living room. My daughter, um, my 11 year old had a fort put up. Um, she likes to do these all the time and she asked my husband put them up for her. And so she had tons of blankets and just everything was just kind of out of whack in here in the living room. I let her keep it up for a few days and then I let her know it's time to take it down, but that's okay. She can go ahead and put it back up whenever she wants, which I'm sure will be next week. <laughs> so we're going to get this little corner fixed up. Um, we will be folding all of these blankets, but first I want to go ahead and get the living room completely picked up. As soon as I thought I was done with the living room, I was just kind of doing an overview and I looked at my windowsill and saw that my daughter had decided to paint the window and the sill with applesauce. So we need to get up here and get this cleaned up. Y'all have to understand, I am super busy during the day. I homeschool and I just have so much that I have to do. And so somehow she got past me with the applesauce and did this. I would not normally just let her paint the house with applesauce. So, <laughs> um, but it's okay. It's nothing that I can't clean up really fast. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I just picked up what I can with a paper towel and got the rest up with some all purpose cleaner. The next stop we're going to make is my dining room and y'all will just have to excuse the look of the dining room right now. My dining room table and chairs are under construction. Um, you can see the actual table is finished and we are doing the chairs to match the table. And so I'm so ready for this table to be over. I feel like it's just haunting me at this point. Um, but like I said, I'm super busy. And so I just get to it when I can and I do a little bit at a time. Um, and so I'm working on it, but it's definitely not aesthetically pleasing right now, but the least I could do was get in here and tidy up. Also, if you see a million balloons all over the floor, that's because my 11 year old just had a birthday and um, we decorated the house and all of those good things. And so these balloons are just everywhere right now. And I try to let them keep them in their room, but you know, kids, they bring the balloons out, the fans blow them out, the air conditioning blows them out. So I just have to tidy those up too and just throw them back into their room. Now that everything is tidied up and wiped down, we're going to go ahead and work on vacuuming and definitely getting this area nice and cleaned up. Like I said, my husband's work boots, they're always disgusting. So um, <laughs> I had to remind him to please try to shake off your work boots before you come inside the house. But I'm going to go ahead and just lay down some of this all-purpose cleaner while I finish vacuuming up the rest of the house. And then we'll come back and mop that up just so it gives it a chance to really sit in there and try to pick up as much dirt and grime as it can. But we're going to go ahead and vacuum all of these floors now. There was no one who understood. Never found 
But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on and that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you got tons of motivation, inspiration, encouragement, and all of the good things here. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment so we can talk and chat and hang out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day. Yeah.